you're here. Welcome. My name is Fractured Dan, and we're getting back into Shadows Over Loathing. We can get into the refrigerator factory now, or whatever it is that I was doing. Refrigerator truck, but not the kind you're probably thinking of. Two counts as a fleet. Cold armor. Ah, interesting. Ooh, toolbox. Self-adhesive rivets and a piece of scrap metal. I'll need that for something. These fridges are brand new and empty, and that's quite boring. Scrap metal, spray on asbestos, and anarchist hardware. Crane control. Locked from the inside, someone's gonna be in trouble. Are these all 40 cases? It's all there, Gluck, you got the meat. Oh, General Bruce, what are you doing here? Surprise inspection. What? This was not part of the plan. What the heck? Yeah, what is going on here? No time to check this out. You should go over and... You should go see what is going on over yonder. Seems a tad bit of a stand up cautiously approach. Hey, you don't have clearance here. Who are you? Hold on. Sand missiles here yet. Nothing wrong with it. It's all sparkly like. And like see stars through it look tin hut uh oh then they came more of a weird shadow monster that was once a person turns to face you hello shadows begin to gather around abstract vending machine yeah let's go for it I don't know if this is actually going to work, but... Okay, so they can be hit by physical attacks. That's good. That guy's got a lot of health. Spooky. How much... 30 HP, that is a lot. Uh, we're gonna need you to heal a lot this turn. Wait, why did I get a retaliatory attack? One of these cures poison, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, I guess I, don't, I, guess I wasn't actually poisoned by that. Um, let's set you on fire. And attack the... Oh, no! I meant to attack the mob boss. That was bad. Why do people keep killing my bird? Stay away from my bird. Heal! For the love of God, heal! Well, there goes my healer. Um... Seven or eight. There we go. Yeah, this will be fine. Yeah. Oh, shit. Hell, this is actually one. All I need to do is cast fire on this guy. Then we take a swipe at him. Sorry, Shadow Man. And the fire does the rest. Ooh, this caper got me all balled up. And how? That whole scene was nutty as a squirrel's mistress. Come on, let's Amscray. They tip their hats for you and make for the door. Investigate what's left of that guy. I got the pocket watch. And I got a bank pouch full of meat and a deed to the speakeasy. Oh, I mostly dissolved into a cloud of weird stuff, huh? And now you are, maybe? Is that how deeds work? Well, what do you know? I didn't have to leave the building to open up your map, by the way. You can just click on the map or... Okay. I guess that means there's really nothing else here to look at. So let's, uh, let's head back to the city, because we haven't, like... We need to check in with some stuff. 
First, let's drop this off. I found the watch. It was complicated. I'd be more surprised if you told me it was simple. Well, you know the drill. Strap it in uh, on and jump in the uncursing machine. It's a pocket watch. It doesn't just uncurse the thing and get some sleep, okay? You look like you've been through the ringer. I won't dispute that. It's in the chair, which is surprising. Uncurse, project. Uh, that'll either project into the previously severed curse and neither. Okay, let's uncurse. The dangerous pocket watch. Hmm. <coughs> Evolutions traveling faster and faster than the beginning of time itself. No. Oh, shh. <laughs> hey, your machine is smoking. Basically, just ask if I want to come see him. Adventurous spirit, I haven't seen him in ages. I mean, I only saw him in the crim uh, at Crimbo, and sometimes he came with us when we went camping in the summer, but after I moved and we got what do you call it? stuff for birthday cards, I wasn't carrying anything of value. Just a crappy desk job that I was sick of death of. Well, working here will definitely be more exciting than working at a desk. You yourself are working at a desk right now. Yeah, but you aren't taking over for me. You're taking over for Murray. <clears throat> oh yeah, if, uh, speak easy deed. I guess that is pretty important. Speak easy, friend. Oh, it's you again. You find Oliver? Um, yes. Uh, I don't like the sound of that. Oliver is gone. The handoff went extremely bad. Badly. Yeah, that too. You go over the events at the Bridge Factory. Fancy Dan <coughs> makes a variety of faces at various points in your story because Fancy Dan is a good listener. I like Fancy Dan. Oliver was carrying this with him. Hmm. It says here the ownership of the speakeasy automatically transferred to whoever has physical possession of this deed. Huh. Is that legal? None of this is legal. Oh, yeah. I guess you're my new boss, baby. Let's have one drink to mourn the new boss. The old boss and another to celebrate the new boss. Yeah, too soon, Dan. I guess we ought to change the name. Well, this place is no longer Oliver's. I suppose that's right. Got any ideas? Something like the purple door. Something... Incisive and almond card like nobody's oblige. I like the purple door. That's always <laughs> to business. We make the best of uh, we make the beer in house, so that's safe, but we're out of everything else. Based on your story, I'd say the stuff at the factory isn't safe to use. Yeah. If you can find booze or mixers or garnishes, bring it back here. Any idea where it's you yeah, might start with Barnaby. Barnaby. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Let's talk to Barnaby. I'm a drink. Oh, oh. Press the wrong button. Talk to Barnaby. I'm a drink. Let's see. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna. Let's head in here and see if any new dates have opened up, because I did find some stuff. Oh! This morning, a new sculpture was revealed in Gunworth Park, but donated by the Ocean Society. Uh, Controller Margaret smudged uh, the sculpture, which consists of five jagged pointed rocks arranged in a rough circle on the small concrete plinths, have been variously described as avant-garde, thrillingly pointy, and fine, I guess. Wait, are you writing this down? Hi, Mom! <laughs> By interested onlookers. Alright, got a nice bit of XP there. I see, so the strength ones cost me less XP because of my class. And I almost have enough! Blasted glutes! Crew's been closed for some time. What about four locks? Unachievable. <laughs> We're going to welcome Matt. Hmm. <clears throat> Use the key. The lock stores are uh, modeled on the monstrous mugs of the Cerberus. The three had a guardian of the underworld's banking sector. Each of the three heads is a name Phylix, Methapon, and Sneaky Pete. And a keyhole deep in its maw. Well, let's examine the key first. Maybe there's a clue. Not really. <clears throat> a 
Let's do Sneaky Pete first. Huh. Okay, that's something we'll have to come back to later. <clears throat> now I will sleep. Hey, Rondon, before you go to bed, I need you to improve a new tenant for the storefront next door. Oh, uh, why is that up to me? Nobody's got to do it. There's three applicants up for place. Okay, first applicant is 10 things I had about you. Hat store. Uh, second is Jardware's Hardware. I guess if your name is Jardware. The last replicant is where I can find jewelry. A jewelry store could really climb. Oh, jewelry. I have the stone thing, so I'll do that. Thanks, Charles. So now, am I going to have another dream? Is that how... <clears throat> last time I chose a class. So am I going to choose a specialty? Like, what's going on here? Fridges and skeletons. The kid who used to bully you in third grade. Make amends. Hey, Jeff, listen. <laughs> I just know hard feelings, and I understand in retrospect that you must have had some problems at home, and I just want you to know everything is okay now. Jeff swats the overdue library book out of your hands. I see. Since this is just a dream version of you, you're still as much of a jerk as you were in third grade. Somebody pushes you, knocking out all your teeth. Hey, if this was actually happened, I'd be really mad. What a jerk. It's really scary armor guy from the refrigerator factory. Apparently he's hunting your dreams now. Excuse me, I need to get past you. I need to get past you, General Bruce, sir. You sir, General Bruce, sir. What? I'm your superior officer. You can address me as such. I'm not in whatever crazy armor you're talking about. You can tell because I'm not wearing one of those super weird hats you have on. It's just a regular... Wait a minute. You see the phenomenon? You mean your hat's all weird? The president's going to want to know about this. President? Why would President Coolidge care uh, what your hat looks like in a dream that I'm having? Don't make me laugh. I'm not talking about the coolest cow. I'm talking about the real president. Huh. I see. That's right, soldier. Uh, well, you see well above your clearance. Next time we meet, I'm going to be fixing that. Okay, yikes. Closer look. Chaos and discontents. Okay, so I got a book. What's the book gonna do? And I'm sorry, what? Alarmingly, a man in an expensive suit has been standing at the foot of your bed. What the heck? Who are you? You may call me Dr. Toblerone. I represent a certain organization of, shall we say, like minded criminals. Organized criminals like the mob? Wait. You're the Don of the local mob? The mom boss in my room, personally? No, I'm not the Don. That is. Merely, uh, my nomenclature. It's an abbreviation for Donald. Oh, well, that's confusing. It has been a matter of some confusion, yes. Uh, so I do have a subroquette. Subroquet. But I don't care very much for it. What is it? Donny Thesaurus. I'm not going to hazard it. I'm going to hazard guessing to call you that because you like long words. That's very astute of you. Of course, this astutician comes from no surprise to me. My associates tell me you handled yourself well during the conflagration at the refrigerator manufactorium. I handle some myself well all the time. I have a proposition for you, considering a certain... Proposition. Come again? I'm here to make you an offer. Oh, can I refuse it? Certainly. Though your refuse it would be, shall we say, unadvisatory. What's the offer? From time to time, my colleagues and I have certain requirements, but lack the necessity man necessary necessary manpower to achieve them. At such junctures, we make uh, lucrative arrangements with certain uh, capable individuals. We find ourselves at this moment at a juncture such as the junctures I have thus abscribed. So you want me to do contract work for the mob? Okay, sure, why not? What happens now? Sit tight and it will call upon you telepathically. Okay then. Let's see what that book I got is. What do my teeth do? <laughs> Three damage to all enemies now. <laughs> wow. Huh, that's weird. Hey there, Ron. Been how'd you sleep? Uh, fine, until a mob guy crawled into my bedroom window. Oh, yeah, that window's pretty lousy. Anyway, the next antique I need you to find is a compass. The direction's kind, not the circle's kind. The Detectatron says it's out near Crystal Dream Lake. 
I don't know where that is, but I bet it's not too far to walk. It's too far to walk. You have a car I can borrow? No, but I have something even better than that. Two cars? A bus pass. The stop out front is your gateway to the whole wide world of adventure. Swell, thanks. Where do I go when I get there? Unfortunately, I couldn't get more specific reading than near the lake. Something about the place is making the instruments go all screwy. Here, take this map. There's a postcard, okay, okay. This is a postcard. There's a map of the lake on it. It has a picture of the lake on it. Yeah, that's what a map is, a picture of a place. I guess I can't argue with that logic. So wait, did, can the bus take me back to the beginning now? A blonde flapper, she cracks chewing her gum, talk to her. Hi, you're the big boy, you're Rania. Ronvin Richardson, right? That's me. Pleased to meet you. I'm Molly. Molly Buttons, they call me. Charmed. Oh, uh, well, but how did you know my name? Now the boss sent me to lend you a hand and keep an eye on you. Savvy? What? Hey, now, I put in my two weeks notice before I left Poughkeepsie. Fair and square. Oh, no, not that box, you pluka. The boss. The boss? You know. Glances over her shoulder and hisses it. The mob boss. Oh, that, that boss. The boss. Sheesh. I can't tell if you got a screw loose or if you're just funnin' with me. I like to keep people guessing. So what are you supposed to partner up with me? That's a deal, McNeil. And do what? What's 20-something girl like you doing working for the mob anyways? Hey now, I ain't just a pretty face. She pulls a Tommy gun with a full-size drum magazine from behind her back, gives it a flip in the air, and catches it with mag glitter in his eyes. Holy jeez. Put that away before someone sees it. Hee hee hee. Cripes. You have to uh, whisper, the boss, but you're fine with waving a machine gun around in public? So we're teaming up or what? Yeah, let's get into some trouble. Ah, uh, wait for me there. Hey, the jewelry store. Hey, my name's Rodman. Oh, hello, I'm Dorothy Rodkin. You want a ring or an amulet or whatever? An old dude is going to fix you right up. You know, cool, what do you have for sale? Fancy tie tech. It's either Moxie or Mysticality, and that's all they have for now. Maybe I can bring them stones and they can make more stuff. Um, I want to go. Uh, I I want to check out this boardwalk before I wrap up this one. A bedraggled hobo shovels up to you with his hat in his hands. Uh, excuse me, Mister. I don't mean to trouble you. My name's Shep Shemp Woodward, and I was wondering if uh, you might have any meat. You could spare just seven meat uh, for a cup of Joe to warm these old bones. What's in your sack? Your old, old bones, like I said. Yeah, sure, here you go. Okay. Hat photography. That's fun. Talk to her. I'm pleased to meet you, Ronvin. I'm Dusty. I can see that. Yeah, I'm meeting a lot of new people in my travels, so I got my name embroidered on my shirt for convenience. So what are you up to? Oh, nothing much. Just hanging around. Was going to run around a three-card Monty down here at the boardwalk, but that didn't pan out. Why not? Well, there's a fellow already running a game down that way. And uh, I prefer not to step on his toe. It's just a matter of professional courtesy, see? I see. And uh, also because of Carney's get real scary about that kind of thing and I ain't looking to be murdered anytime soon. Anyway, I can help? Well, that's real kind of you. I was thinking of looking for a different corner. Could you spare a nickel for a cup of joe to get my feet moving? Well, I'm nothing if not generous. Fortune teller's tent. To our readings, 50 meat. With a teenage girl dressed as an old woman. First card reveals the leisure here. It says 17 of rakes. I'm okay. I suggest that an event in your hometown involving ceiling. That doesn't sound familiar. Second card is about your present, but not like Crimbo present, like the present. Oh my, it's the frozen navigator. Oh my, what does that mean? Card indicates that you're in a fortune teller's tent. Okay. Final four of card reveals what's in store in your fortune. She pulls a card from. Um. Knight of uh, Masks, I think? Yeah, it's the Knight of Masks. Where'd you learn to read tarot cards? In your future, I see you travel along roads. I'll keep an eye out for that. Uh, as you enter, the photographer, who is busy adjusting a complicated-looking camera on a tripod, gestures to a nearby wastebasket without looking around. If it's more bills, there's my inbox. Um, hello? Hmm? Oh, you ain't the... Oh, Jumpin' Jehoshaphat! 
Baby, where have you been all my life? That face, it's exactly the face I've been looking for. It's perfect. Uh, thanks, I've grown rather attached to myself. <laughs> You're funny too. Baby, I love you. You're incredible. Listen, do you know who I am? The sign on the roof said Tony Fiasco, hat photographer. That's right, baby. That's exactly right. And soon I'm going to be the biggest hat photographer in the city. No, the country. No, the world. But there's something I need first. A uh, face? A face? A portfolio? And you know what I need before I get a portfolio? Uh, a face! Your face, baby! Uh, well, I don't say no. Don't you dare say no, baby. Listen, it's easy. All you gotta do is stroll in here wearing a hat. And all I gotta do is take a photograph of that hat, and then we're both gonna be rich. Rich? Rich! Me with my portfolio, and you with your 30 meat, I'm gonna pay you for every picture. Oh, uh, well. Gotta be different hats, though. Gotta be a different hat every time. I can't pay you nothing but the same hat twice, got it? Okay, how about this hat? What is that? A uh, broken coconut? Perfect, I love it! Here's your meat, baby. It's been a little okay. Alright, let's swap hats. <clears throat> Hopefully, I didn't sell it. There it is. Equip. Alright, now we swap back. Broken coconut. Where did I put that broken coconut? Here's broken coconut. It's only 42 experience. Okay. Ooh, games. Step right up, step right up. Test your strength and your agility and your intellect. Every winner gets a prize. You there, sir. Care to face the challenge of a lifetime? Only 10 meat. What's the challenge? I like to start newcomers off with something relatively easy. All you have to do is guess my age, throw a dart, I'd pop a balloon, and drive a nail into this board with one swing of a hammer. At the same time? Uh, yeah, that's right. Care to try? No thanks. <laughs> well, not with that attitude, you won't. First aid? Uh -huh. Cotton candy, increases mass pain, do it yourself, sports medicine. Oh, hell yeah. But that is... Yeah, it's just so good. It's so good. It's so good. Alright, I can... Okay, just need to get the other ones up to two. No, I can't do two at the same time, because it's gonna, yeah, okay. <laughs> Wait, there's just a wander option? Encounter a hobo? Hey there, you're Ronvin, I'm Joe Montague. Uh, okay, how'd you know my name? Oh, we hobos are a tight knit community. When someone's a helping, uh, been a helping us out, a war gets around. Well, that's nice. A little creepy, but nice on balance. Why don't you come visit our camp? We'd be happy to have you. Where's it? Well, you just head down 12th Street, and you see a lot of old hardware stores you used to be, and then you take a... You know what? It might be simpler if I just mark it on the map for you. Okay, now I can go to a hobo camp. Nice. Um... Wait, there's something I wanted to do... Oh, right, yeah, okay. Um, of course, pocket launch. So where's that bus stop? Oh, right, it's the sign. Um, where do I go? Do I want to check out the hobo camp first? I don't really have any money, so that probably would be better to come back to actually having money. So let's check out this other... Chapter 2. The spooky forest. Is, uh, is left done? Light out from this house. Oh, it's a lighthouse. Okay. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, introduce myself. Excuse me, are you the lighthouse keeper? Sorry to bother you. My name is Ron Van Richardson. I, um, uh, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Are you okay? Hey, yeah, yeah, I just ain't talked out loud in a while. I get rusty. I see. Lighthouse keeping's a lonely job, huh? Oh, it's solitary. Mm. Uh. Well, it's solitary for sure. That's for sure. I ain't mine, though. 
exactly a people person. What can I do for you? What does a lighthouse keeper actually do? Well, it used to be I had to light up a lamp every sundown and then douse it again at sunrise to save on fuel. It used to be. Well, it was an oil lamp. We got a hook up to the electrical grid a couple of years ago, so now I just leave them on all the time. About all I have to do now is charge the light bulb once in a while. Sounds very peaceful. Oh, yeah, that it is. Uh, nice and quiet and plenty of time to mow my hands. You must have a bunch of hobbies. Uh, I got a book and a Whitland knife and plenty of old distant, middle distance to stare into. How'd you get into this line of work? I, uh, my family's been keeping lighthouse, always been lighthouse keepers on both my sides. Ma and Pa kept lighthouses with inside of each other. Used to wink the lights back and forth once in a while. Oh, well, that's kind of romantic. Well, you know, I never did find out how I was actually born. What? Anyways, uh, was there something you needed? Have you seen an old compass around? The directions kind or the circles kind? Directions. I, uh... I got uh, an old one I picked up at an estate about, oh, 20 odd years ago, I reckon. I'd show it to you, but it's upstairs and the lighthouse is flooded. Uh, flooded? I uh, flooded right to the top. Have a look through the window there and you might see fish pass by. How'd that happen? Pump broke? No, I mean, how does the lighthouse just fill up the water? We aren't even at sea level here. Something to do with the tides, I reckon. This is a lake. Well, anyhow, I need a Glaxon valve to fix the pump. There's a hardware store down the road a piece if you have a mind to help out. Yeah, all right. Hmm. Cork in the keyhole, huh? Oh, I can cook on the stove? Hey, Rundin. Bye, Rundin. Book. War and peace, huh? Ah, there half you one. Mind the bookmark now. Of course, it looks like you just started. Been reading it about five and a half years. Your bookmark is still in chapter one. Ah, I just about got up to the last sentence of it. I've been reading one word per day. War and Peace is almost 600,000 words long. Eh, don't tell me how it ends. I won't. Um, so I need to go to the hardware store? Is that it? Wax and valve. Got symbols on that oven. Perhaps arcane symbols. Yes. Okay, so we have to go here to the hardware store. I see. I see. Three figures approach you, their faces obscured by the shadows of trees. Um, excuse me, who are you? As they step into the light, you see that they have human bodies, but their heads are hideous, misshapen fungal growths. They stare at you with beady black eyes. Wow, wow! Holy crap, a toast! Try to talk to them. Wow, ooh, the strange man looks so mollified. They hold a short, whispered conference, and one of them nods. Ooh, 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 wow, ooh! And with that, they turn around and disappear. Huh. Okay. Nice. After a short hike, you find a small hardware store nestled in the spare woods surrounding the lake. It's the very model of a down-home country hardware store, except it doesn't have any old-timers sitting out front chewing the fat. Maybe it's their day off, or maybe they ran out of fat. <coughs> I, don't, I don't understand the purpose of any of these tools. Oh, wait, I have that <coughs> pouch of meat. I need to open it. 300 meat. What a windfall. Trendiest patented colors. Now that room ain't part of the store. You're the proprietor, I assume? Uh, yeah. Welcome to Har Valley Hardware. Best hardware store in the Crystal Dream Valley. Because it's the only hardware store in the valley? No, because it's the only hardware store in the... Ah, oh, shucks, Philly. You preempted my joke. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, no hard feelings. Good to see a new face around. What can I do for you? Ask about the valve. It's the sn next. Oh, it was something else. Uh, was it the Glaston? No. Glarston? Garpston? Did I? Oh. It's a Glaxon. 
Blackston Bell? Well, shucks, they stopped making those things nearly a decade ago. I guess there's a slight chance there's still one in the back room. Well, he ain't been back there since the Terminus got in, at the inventory, or maybe after he got flooded. Anyway, it's a real biblical style of a disaster back there. Here, I'll unlock the door for you and you can take a look around. If you find a glass and valve in the mess, you're welcome to it. Let's just take a look here. Comfy hat liner. Sure. Steel toed boots. <laughs> hmm. That could be funny, but. Used plunger. Plus three stench damage. Batteries fuse. Okay, so more of those stuff, which might come in handy later. Yeah, sharpen it. Yeah, attach it to the broken coconut. Ah. Uh, oh, dear. Nasty trash. Seepage has caused concrete to be blow its mind. Wonders of the world and now feel strong. Okay. Powerful grit. What does that do? Even though you just inert powder, you're pretty sure it's going to bully you. <laughs> okay. I think next time is when I'm going to be diving in to that star portal right there but thank you all so much for watching i'm really enjoying this it's really helping me you know get my mind off of the fact that i'm once again on lockdown uh, uh but uh be sure to comment on this video if you like what you see or if you have any other games you'd like to see me playing throw me a like if you think uh if you yeah, you liked it and uh subscribe if you want to and until next time take care of yourselves and be well <laughs>